Uh, good day, grade 11. So we are on page 4 5 of the HSE workbook. Wow, this is an interesting drawing. And I think some of you have already had a look at it and you are just as excited as I am to get to it. So let's get started. We are only going to apply, of course, that which we have already learned. And so, honestly, with confidence, you guys can start drawing grade 12 drawings here if you are not afraid of him. Okay. So, what we do now is whatever is touching the picture plane is going to touch also the ground line. Nee, dit wat die print vlak raak, gaan die grond vlak raak. Hulle geef jou boe aan sig, en hulle geef vir jou, uh, in hierdie geval, is dit die sy aan sig. Nee, as jy kyk na dit, daar die vlak, is daar die deel. Ok, daar die is hierdie verborge detail, Die lijn is hier die twee lijn. Alright, if you look at this, this is a side view of this. This surface here is a surface that runs all the way around here. That corner is this hidden detail. This corner is that hidden detail. And this surface is that one. Are you with me? Were you able to figure that out yourself? Alright, so once you familiarize yourself with that, you have to determine the, the vanishing points. From the SP, this one is at 60 degrees, up to the picture plane, down, make a dot, left vanishing point, duidelijk en uiteindelijk. That one is at 30 degrees, from the SP, up to the picture plane, and down here, clear dot, right vanishing point, and you've gotten yourself your first couple of marks. Alright, once you get the start, I'm going <coughs> to, sorry, zoom in a little bit here. As much as I can. Uh, is it? Okay, let's get started on this one. So fortunately we know that this corner is on this corner. So we can use this height coming across. That height coming across here. That height coming across. And we have now. can draw this in nice and dark. Do you understand why these are nice and dark? It's this corners, that's at that height, and it goes back to the left vanishing point. Each one of these, left vanishing point. Left vanishing point. Okay, these lines that I've just drawn here, is a construction line that runs right there. Where, are the, where is it heading? It's heading to the left vanishing point. A construction line that runs here, where is it heading? Where is it heading? Where is it heading? It is heading to the left vanishing point. All of these lines. A line heading in this direction is heading to the right vanishing point. All of these, all of these, if I would extend them, they are heading to the right vanishing point. Okay? So that's why if I come down here now to my perspective, if I look at this bottom line, it runs to the left vanishing point. How far before something happens? Well, directly below it is this corner here. Alright? And so I can aim that down to the SP. Are you with me? Aim it to the SP and down. And it's actually the one on top here and the one there at the bottom. So I can draw them in. All right, then uh, this, this corner, if you look here, it's at the same height. Aim it to the SP. It's this corner. And so here I can join it. Okay, um, this end here, which is this corner, we're going to aim that to the SP. Don't be tempted, like some of you have really been tempted, to take and draw all of these line corners down. You are going to confuse yourself, okay? Alright, so bring that down.
Right, then we're going to the right vanishing point. So I can start here at the bottom. A line running in the, the right vanishing point is a line running down here where something happens on that line up to that point. Then there's a gap. So I'm going to make that up to the SP and down. Let me just do this gap here while my pen is here on top. I'll do all four of them. Aim it to the SP, bring it down. Okay, that means this bottom looks like this, yes or no? Alright, now I can aim this one. Same on the top. Don't have to draw that line in necessarily. I can draw it in all the way if I want. But sometimes there's so many lines. Okay, and then here at the back. Okay, how do I get this back corner? Well, I can bring it, this line runs to the left vanishing point, so there it is. Okay, then these all go to the left vanishing point. Oh, this is a nice one, eh? How you look for it here, Each one of these corners goes back to that left vanishing point. Okay, so how far before something happens? Well, it just goes back up to this point. Aim that down. And there it changes direction again. Now it goes to the right vanishing point. Does that make sense? I was a very step. If you miss it, I'm not here at all. Okay, and so the more you take, the more you get a little bit of trust. And then we're not going to be for your snacks, we see. Okay, these are all in line, so I can bring them down. There it is, down, down. Okay, this corner here is an interesting one. There it goes. Comes behind, comes out here. So there it is again. Ah, this is a good one. I'll be so happy for you if you're able to draw this. Lots of different small lines here. Okay, my accuracy might be a little bit out. I think this these will probably line up if you were accurate. So if yours looks a little bit different than mine, don't be mad at me. Congratulations. Okay, let's look at that. If I look from this front, I see these four ends here. Then there's that indent. Ah, oh, there's a line missing. This back part, that is this one. Round, same at the bottom. And from my left hand side, this is what I see. Those hidden details are those two surfaces. Right here, that's a nice, interesting drawing for you. Thank you. Yours should look very similar to mine. Uh, good job, people.
under 12 minutes, now it's your turn.